Surprise! I'm back again. My name is Mar. Um, if you're new here, most, most of you are us. <laughs> um, I used an old foundation that I had. It's not old, but it's definitely not my shade anymore. I don't know. I guess it works. I'm still like between all these different foundations and stuff. You know what I mean? Okay, but that's not the point. Thank you for watching, joining me, hanging out. Normally, that's all we do is just hang out. So, I'm going to be doing the Hello Kitty collab review today from ColourPop. The full collection is $89. The palette set's $44. The blush set's $22. Pineapple Crush lip set, $34. And then, it just keeps going and going. But, um, yeah, we have the little lippies. I actually had an issue with my order because when it first got here, it sent me two of these. <laughs> two of the um, Teeny Keeny palettes. I'm going to give one to my sister. I'm sorry. Like, that's not going to be given away. But um, I've heard that some people have had issues with ColourPop's customer service. I have not. But I think it's because of the way I email customer service from the get-go. Um, I always send in a photo photo of the full box with everything in it, my slip, my um, packing slip that they sent, and my order number also in the subject line with my name and email. I just get straight to the point. I'm like, hey, this is what happened. Here's my order number, my email, and here are photos of what I got in the box with the box so you can see it, and here is my packing slip. And out of the three, four times that I have messaged them, because I got a broken palette once, I had a missing product, and then I had an incorrect palette. Like, I ordered one palette, but I got a different palette. And now this one. So, I already lost count. <laughs> and then this one where I got two of one, and I was missing this one. But, um, they sent it out. And they didn't ask me to send back anything or whatever, because, you know, it was on their end. So, I think if you ever have an issue with any brand, because even with Morphe, that's exactly what I do. And it has 100% worked for me. Um, I will say the bigger the brand, the longer it takes though. Like, you get kind of impatient, but they do get back to you. I wouldn't wait more than like two and a half weeks though. Like, I, w I would not if that's what's going on. But here are the two blushes. And this cute little packaging. Do you see this? That's so cute. And then, so, like I said, we have the Teeny Keeny. Put the other spare to the side. We have the Cherry Sweet. These are, like, the mini palettes that they have. And then we have Pineapple Cake. And we have Coco Cutie. The, the packaging is so cute. And you get some stickers, giving those to Luna. Like, those are that. And I do have a lot more to review from ColourPop still. And then we have a lip scrub. Pineapple Pop. They're adorable. That's all I have to say. And then the lippy things. Uh, yummy Smoothie Glow Lip Balm set. So let's get started with the blush because I don't have blush on and I always do my face first for one reason or another. I just do. So we have the contour on. I have not bronzed. So let me get that out of the way. Um bronzing brush where are you right here like i said in a previous photo photo <laughs> video i do like to add the bronzing to the edges of my forehead um because of the way i take my photos for instagram it, at certain angles without that my forehead looks like Quah. so i'm like that's that's not how big my forehead actually is my forehead's not really that big it's like not even the size of my palm but yeah so that's that got the bronzer on it was just a quick once you get used to like what your your routine on your face shape it's super fast but let's go in with one of we'll probably use both so this one's the aloha honey and then this is what the palette looks like for that one opening it up it does come with its little thing and that is the shade I'm like yep there we go there we go and then we have the Island Shine, opening that one up. And that's this one. They're, these are adorable. I love how they... 
um, put the attention to detail. This one's kind of like had it on the edge. But um, here's that shade. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Comparing the two next to each other. Ooh. That's comparing the two next to each other. So I have an itch in my nose. I'm going to go in and make sure this brush is clean. And I think I'm going to go with this bright one right here on the cheeks where I normally like to add just a tad of blush so it's soft blush which I am very happy that it is because I don't want too much Ooh, look at that it definitely does pick up though we are rosy today so because of the fact that I don't want that much just a uh, clean powder brush with a little bit of leftover powder from obviously powdering my face we're gonna do this there we go just a nice hint of rosiness is what i like on there and then i'm going to clean up my other brush make sure i don't have any of my leftover uh favorite blush and we're gonna go with this one a bit of a deeper one just a tad bit i'm hoping to learn my lesson from the other one i'm gonna try to see how i can get that to build if any there we go starting to show a bit did you see that yes just building it up okay that's a nice shade this would work this might become one of my other shades that i use all the time currently i use the bake milani one I don't know why my lights are acting the way they are. It's just my vanity mirror, but it's like picking up weird. It might be the foundation, like I said. So yeah, you see that shade? Those colors? I think those are nice. Oh yeah. Okay, so I do like the blushes. They're nice, buildable, pigmented. So go in with a light hand. Make sure you're keeping that in mind. Oh, hold on. I'm going to put some on the... It's just leftover blush on the brush that I'm just putting on the tip of my nose you see it there we go and so those are very nice so my skin tone is like I would say a light tan I haven't really been getting much sun since I've been working nights I don't go out in the sun that often anymore for more than maybe two hours if that and while and that's in the car um I want to add my highlight and then we will move on to the eyes. So just adding some highlight. And I'm using the pearl one, I believe. Yeah, pearl from Physician's Formula. If you've been curious, this is, I highly, highly recommend this. If you like that nice, like, really, like, icy kind of looking, um, highlight that does not pick up as a white chalky color on you if you're you know if you're deeper skin tone like for my skin tone if i go for one that's normally like this it looks white on me but um this one gives you a nice shine okay a nice beautiful highlight so i definitely recommend that one if you've been looking for something that looks kind of icy just as a side note i don't use lip scrubs but i will smell this one because i'm curious and then we'll move on to the ah, palettes. Oh, that smells nice though. It does. I should use lip scrubs. As you can tell, I have dry lips. Like, I'm dehydrated, okay? All I drink is soda. I'm sorry. And water is like, like that. But yeah, pineapple pop. I probably, I, I don't know if it has pineapple in it. Shea butter, something, something, acetate. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, I, pineapple scented for sure. I have a slight pineapple allergy. <laughs> so, I don't want to risk that. But, we have these four little cute palettes. So, like, okay. So, we're going to open up our teeny keeny. I love how they do that now. That okay like that small detail matters it's so easy to open now so here we go cute little wink wink open it up it's a cute little orange palette it does have a mirror so that i really enjoy that 
We're going to go in with Coco Cutie. It does have your names and all that on the back, if you were wondering. The inside even has detail put into it. And here we go. Um, plastic mirror. This beautiful, beautiful blue. There's no glitter involved as of yet. I say yet. So we have this one. Our pineapple cake. Once again. Details. Details. Cute. Oh. That's a beautiful yellow little color scheme. So we have that. Here we go. And this one's the cherry sweet. I don't like it. Did I show you guys? Of course I did. And then cute. Beautiful. Plastic mirror. And we I've been doing a lot of blue and pink looks, so we're going to go in with these. Okay? What are we doing? Who knows? Let's find out. Let me get my brushes down. As I left them up here. Moving my face brushes out of the way. My, I hope my dress did not betray me here when I got up. I want a sip of soda. Sorry, I'm thirsty. Don't look. Okay. 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 So, let's begin. Let's begin cleaning off my brush here. I do want to start with the orange, though. We're going to go with this deep orange right there, which is itsy bitsy. I'm just going to do an easy, easy look. And then I have a question for you guys. Like, do you guys get tired of seeing the same my looks? Or is it, like, comforting to know that you can keep doing the same looks that you love without being judged? Because I've seen a couple of comments. Or I've heard people mention that they get those kind of comments. Like, oh my gosh, you always do the same eye look. And it's like, well, my eye shape is still the same. <laughs> so... But either way, that's not what, like, I mean, like, I find comfort that you can do some of the same eye looks again and again because of the fact that it's what works and you can actually become a pro at making those looks no matter your skill level. So it helps. But we're going to do that. And that's just out of this one. And we're going to go in now with the yellow one. And I want to go in with to the core. The bright yellow. We're just going straight in with the bright yellow. Almost changed my mind. But that's going to go on top of that orange. Just straight on top of it. The silence. Right now, I'm just laying it on there, and then I'm going to try to blend it once I get a good opacity that I'm happy with. And as always, I'm pretty sure you guys already know that the format for Colourpop's is actually really good. The blending on these is actually coming along a bit better than some of the other times. Like, they always blend out pretty nicely, but this one's actually blending super great like it is like one of the better ones that I've had for the blending I'm actually quite happy at the moment with this like look at that you get a nice little yep Okay, and then underneath that, I'm wondering, I do want to do a bit of glitter. And I think I'm actually going to do, I don't want to do glitter per se. I might actually dip into the blue one for that. Or the pink one. We'll, we'll leave it for a second. In a minute, in a minute. But okay, so putting that right there. I'm going to need something to pack on the color with. I'm going to go and try this one clean it off. I need to clean my blendiful. And now we're going to go in with Hula Hoop 
that orange really tap into it and it's gonna be right here not fully all the way on the outer edge and not like too close to the center so hula hoop packing the color on at first I'm not taking it up too high, just up to the crease is what I'm doing. I might want to go in with a flat brush. That's not doing exactly what I want it to. That brush, okay? So the brush is might be the issue. There we go. That's what I want. So lay it down, pack it on, get the color payoff that I'm looking for. It seems a little chalky on this shade. I don't know if that's actually going to become too much of an issue. It doesn't seem to be because it's still working. Okay, so that seems fine. And for the outer edge, I do think I want to go in with this one. The dark one, the itsy bitsy. I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to see if it actually like... Yeah, there is a tone difference, so I'm happy with that. Bringing it out a bit. Like this. Oh, that's nice. And on the inner corner. Oh, okay. Nice, 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 nice. And now with this one, I'm going to go in with So Sweet, the darker mustardy yellow in this palette. And it's going to be on the edge. The edge of that orange. I'm going to try to leave a little bit of space in the center. I know this gets harder as your eyelid might not be as big. Trust me, I understand my eyelids aren't that big either. I really had to work with like small brushes to make all these looks work. So we have that. So far I am enjoying my palettes. They're nice. Now we're gonna go back in with the orange. And we're gonna go in with Beachy, this one. And that's gonna be the center, okay? That's gonna be in the middle of that. Like this. Bringing it in like this. Oh. And then we are going to go in with this one. And we're going to do La Piña. That like golden yellow. Getting it like that. And that's what's going to go underneath all this. Right here. And that line we left that was empty. That's where we're going to use the line it. All the way through. Just as so. Mm. Smoky. Fiery. And now we're going to go back in with the dark orange. The itty itsy bitsy. We're going to do it here. And then we're going to go in with Hula Hoop. There's a fly on my arm. Hula Hoop. And then we're going to go in with our To The Core. And in the inner corner, we are going to f finish it off with Sandy. That one had a bit of fallout. Not too bad. Came right off. So like that. And then I'm still going to use that sandy and go under the brow bone. To add that highlight there because I want it there today. Oh, yes. Wonderful. 
Oh my goodness, that is such a beautiful, like, oh, I don't think I've liked a yellow and orange look as much as this. Okay, so, let me line my eye, do my lashes, my brow, and I'll be right back, alright? I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, I lied, I didn't do the liner and stuff off camera yet, because, um, I want to show you, because, I want to show you my liner, because it goes with this collection. Theme wise, <laughs> but um, in the waterline, I use Mango Tango from Beauty Creations, their Dare to Be Bright 2 collection, and then I have a Hello Kitty um, Glam Light Magnetic Liner. And I'm like, oh, well, it's Hello Kitty, might as well do it on, on camera. Um, so I'm gonna use the Lashes Shameless, I'm gonna go ahead and get those ready to put on because, yeah, they need to be ready. So I can just plop them on and we can continue with the lips afterwards. Okay, so clean to make sure there's no anchors on that. So we're going to go in with the red. It's a red liner, magnetic liner. I'm excited. We're going all in. I could have done the black, but I didn't want to. I'm like, I don't know if I want to do a wing. It was my whole thing. But I'm going to. Just because I'm used to it. I made my wing kind of weird today. I like brought it really low. You do what you want, what you like. You can keep it without the wing. Okay. So we have the liner on. And I believe it's this lash. The shorter end. So let me cover it to keep it from drying. Even the tiniest bit. I don't know why I waved my last year on us if it had glue on it. <laughs> and now we're gonna plop it on. Trying to get it as close as I can to the lash line so it blends in. So it does blend in. Let me shake you up a bit too. Okay, so. Lashes on. Make sure my normal lashes are blending in. Get that down on there. The liner is a bit tacky. Just um, a forewarning on that. Just so you know. I don't want anyone getting mad. Like, oh my god, it's tacky. Like, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so. Uh, I'm lining my other eye. I'm like, I'm not even on camera anymore. Like, if you're not in a magnetic liner, uh, lashes, that's cool. We, uh, they also have the, um, colorful adhesives now. I have not bought them yet. I'm very tempted. I'm considering, well, biding, biding my time, really. Um, and bidding, biding, whatever. Until I can find the right moment to invest in some colorful adhesive liners. For like my Ioni lashes that I also love to use. Okay. So that is on. Plopping on the lashes again. You know, I forgot to put mascara on my natural lashes. That might be why they're not doing what I want them to. But I really don't want to put them on. Put the mascara on. When I already have my magnetic lashes on. So, it's actually doing pretty good. Blending right now. See? 
Okay, so there are the lashes and there's the liner. What do we think? Nice sunset look today? I think so. I think we're doing good. Okay, so now with the lip balm, like I said, that's the magnetic liner from Glamnetic. They're having a sale right now too, so check it out if you are interested. This is the Shameless Lash. It's very nice, like, fancy packaging on this one today. But, okay, so we have that. Now, for the lip balms. I know, I've kept you here 25 minutes. My videos are just getting longer and longer. Here's the back. It says it's got Hello Fruity, Tropic Cute, Fun in the Sun. It's got the names on the bottom. They're all pretty similar. Similar. Um, let's go with nice normal packaging. And this one is Fun in the Sun. Pop it open. Okay, ooh. We're going to do it on the back of my hand. Oops. And on the front. Because it's two different shades. Well, two different skin tones on <laughs> one hand here. And then this one is... Hello, Fruity? Yep. So, I put too much, I like overdid it with that at first. So, we're going to do it again right here. Oh, that one's nice. I might do that one. They are scented like pineapple. Oh, it makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It makes me nervous. I am going to try it, though. So, we have Tropic Cute is the next one. I think these all would work on a variety of skin tones. Like, I really do believe, especially for a lip balm. So, you have those, and then you have it like this. This and this. I'm just wiping it off on my dress. I'm that type of person. Just take it off. Take it off. Um, and I think I'm actually going to go in with a bit more of a red. The red one. So, with Hello Fruity. I'm going to put that one on. Pigmented. Mm. Moisturizing already. Okay, so yeah, it's just a normal lip balm. Very juicy. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, it's juicy, is what it feels like. So, um, Hello Fruity. I'm trying to keep them in order in the box. Tropic Cute and then Fun in the Sun. So, those three colors I think would work on a variety of skin tones. That one looks nice on me personally. So, hit. Blushes are also a hit. Very nice. Great. These are wonderful as always the formulas are great i think these blend better than some of the other formulas i have tried from ColourPop. there was like absolutely no issue with the blending on this one none whatsoever i want to add a bit more of orange that's just from user application here because you can keep building them up however you want to the opacity you want I want it a bit darker, thicker line. But, great. And if you always um, wondered why they put glitter in their palettes, you don't have to worry about that one this time around. They did not. They kept that in mind. Um, this one's the pink one. I will swatch this lighter shade and then that shimmer like this. Put it right here. You can get an idea. Those two shades, I think they would work just as nicely. They don't seem too overly pigmented, which can be an issue, believe it or not. Then we have this beautiful blue one. I'm going to do this, this shade right there, and then this shimmer, just so you guys can get an idea as well on that one. 
so see they look beautiful the nice tones and everything i feel like you could make these work together you know just takes a little bit of creativity on anyone's part so i do highly recommend this actual collection in general there is no unnecessary mirror i say unnecessary but if you like mirrors i am no one to judge i just don't use the mirrors not often like it takes me a bit to be, even remember that i have a mirror <laughs> so um but yes i do recommend this collection if you do like it this one itself i have enjoyed using just formula wise i am not a fan of hello kitty i have not watched hello kitty so my review on this one is definitely not biased based on just who the collab is with i think this is their second or third collab with hello kitty anyway so it's not the first one i haven't gotten any of the other ones but these four pan palettes from ColourPop, i have loved their great formulation and everything okay so they're always having sales code trend mood code many mua i believe is also one you can just google it firefox uh, anything yahoo search engines any search engine being affiliate code but you know color pop affiliate code any brand affiliate code it will give you a list of current sales discounts anything like that just research it a little bit to save a little bit of money i'm always up for saving a little bit of money and i hope you enjoyed the look how it turned out my eye shapes are different this one's smaller especially if i'm tired this eye will close up a bit more than this one i call it my lazy eye it's not a full lazy eye i do believe i have like some nerve damage or something happened at some point in my life because you can tell it's closed more today we all have our flaws it's just how we go about it and how we accept them at some point that makes us all unique but either way like i said enough rambling i hope you enjoy it i hope you come back and sit with me and talk with me chat with me and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye